little homeless girl right there. <laughs> We've got ourselves a great looking homeless girl. <laughs> and we'll get you a shower and clean you up with some disinfectants. <laughs> Giving homeless girls veneers so you can, they can look like people? That's fucking so funny. <laughs> That's our product. That is bad money. That's so funny, man. <laughs> she turns around. She's like, hi. She <laughs> you look a million times better. When you don't have a purpose, when your life is like very empty, but you know that you have to like manufacture some type of drive. And that's a lot of the reason I don't like Jocko Willink. I don't like um, Goggins. David Goggins. Like David Goggins, his thing is to like what physically punish himself for, for nothing. What the? This guy's so fucking full of <laughs> shit. I had politicians begging me on their hands and knees, please don't kill me. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna put you in an orange barrel. <laughs> I got one of my buddies on a union construction crew gonna come pick you up. I'm gonna put you in a road barrel until you wake up. I got a whole pile of you. I call you Krispies. A rider truck full of ammonia? Okay. F this man! F this man! <laughs> with this guy. <laughs>this is so no matter what is going on in your life he's got some application of the gummy hey sam you see you've been lifting yeah looking pretty big man oh yeah big time sore probably a lot of muscle soreness a lot of soreness i have something for that what is it these are uh these are vibes mm -hmm. these are a cure it's a little bit different okay so so what these are going to do is these are going to focus on inflammation Okay. Yeah. I've yeah. heard about. I've heard that word. So honestly, our biggest problem right now is inflammation, <laughs> and I literally have no idea what that means. My dad had a heart attack. He's in the hospital. I'm uh -huh, really worried uh -huh. about. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a little side caveat that he doesn't listen to anybody. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, go ahead. My, uh -huh. <laughs> my dad and me, we, yeah, we used yeah, to go yeah. fishing all uh -huh. the time. And uh -huh. Now he had a heart uh -huh. attack. I don't uh -huh. know what he's doing in the hospital. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm really I worried about him. I have something for that. You do? <laughs> yeah. This one's focused on sadness. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Uh, it's if it, it's vibe. <laughs> these are different. These are a curated experience. Okay. These uh these have not only they have THC, they mm -hmm. have THCA. I'm sorry, CBDG. Okay. They have CBDG. Now what about I'm trying to apply for a pilot's uh -huh. license uh -huh. and there's a lot of stuff you have to remember. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A lot of uh -huh. flight yeah, plans. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything for that? Oh yeah. What? <laughs> Cherries. I have these things they call it uh, cherry bombs. What are they? they have um they actually have THCA, which is some people say it's THC. Technically the FDA doesn't want to hear about it, but mm. it's gonna work on fit you died fishing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, sometimes I'm just so full of <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta back myself off the ledge yet. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah. I had something with a C B D A uh C B D the stories typically go like, I had one of these last night and I was like gone for hours. I don't know how many times I've heard a reiteration of that. <laughs> they said, I took these last night and I was dumb. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But you could, like, you could, ins I feel like I could be like, oh, my knee. And they're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, my knee is like killing. It's like cracking and like popping when I go low. And sometimes it just gets a little sore. He's actually right. He knows everything. Uh, Patellar yeah. cypriotis, this is exactly what you need to get in there. The mitochondria are going to be moving around. Yeah, you have we small lack of We got to tamp it down there. with some CBD. Yeah, CBDA is actually going to be better than that. They did feel it's got a 15% higher reach <laughs> than the CBDs. So, I mean, yeah, you're going to get it, but it's going to be 15% to 20% higher. <laughs> yeah, like, if yeah. you can feel 20% difference in anything mm -hmm. i can't feel a 20 percent difference in like a punch to the face <laughs> you know like everything everything hurts no, no. you know what it is man i feel like people just come in and they're like what do you have for my back mm -hmm. like you go to a paint store mm -hmm. and they'll be leaving with five gallons of ben moore or a paint which is like <laughs> 88 dollars a gallon like i know what happened they say that nicer colors with a deeper base have a better, more calming effect and probably put you in a little bit better of a more relaxed state. You're going to sleep better. You're going to jump higher. You're going to have better sex. People are going to know your name walking down the street. <laughs> you're telling a 70-year-old lesbian that she's going to have better sex. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I, I need something. Like, do you have any paint for my back? For your back? Your yeah. back's been hurting? Yeah. Absolutely. We've got Benjamin Moore Aura. Uh -huh. It's a little yeah. on the pricier side, but this is what people, my other clients are really saying works well with back pain they say they can you know jump higher touch the rim yeah uh i i have do have a sex <laughs> oh oh you say, yeah you saying my menopausal dry is gonna get soaking wet when you paint it's not a myth 
you're it's gonna not be, a myth? It's not a myth. No, you and your partner, you're going to be using toys. You're going to be breaking uh-huh. out the silverware. All right. For this one. I'm you know they call jam- it silverware? Do they? You know, did you know that? Lesbians call it silverware? Yeah, because they use a, um, a washing machine, a dishwasher to sanitize the dish. Uh... You didn't know it was called silverware? <laughs> Even funnier than think you, about Chris. this. How come um, the dump has a, an inexplainable phenomenon? It's dishwashers that come in with blown out brains from washing all the hazard, hazardous lesbian juice off. And the dishwasher's like, this man! This man! That's what the dishwasher says. It's, instead of like beeping when it's done. <laughs> I don't know. I just put my vibrators in the dishwasher. And then like an hour later, I could like hear it talking to itself. It was like, wash that nasty ass juice out with me. Oh, I'm not a toilet. I wash dishes. You fucking sick. You stupid. You with me yeah. <laughs> real depressed the door starts open the, the, the slots keep coming in and out of it and then it just has a handgun and maybe it just blows its head out and it really has like brains <laughs> it has like guts when you shoot if you shoot a dishwasher through the third parallel it has it has guts in it and like i went over there it was like a human brain like blown to pieces and it was gurgling <laughs> This is what the dishwasher with the blown out brains looks like. like. That's exactly what it would look like. After two dildo. Oh That's exactly what it would look like. That's exactly that. It's so funny. It has a face. That's a how to bomb two joke. That's a really funny thing, man. Did I tell you about the state senator? State senator came by my place. We got in a verbal altercation. No. He called the state troopers on me. No way. Yeah. When? Like a week ago. Oh, good. What the f- happened? He was just he was just like a, a weaselly little, f- right right off right off the off the rip, and yeah. um, he had a clipboard with him, so I assume he was looking for something political, and he had a he had a mask on, like an N95 mask, like super tight, like double strapped, the ventilator, like the N95 mask. The real deal. The real one, and I was just like, dude, why do you still have a mask on, like? That's, you know, that's over, right? Like, that's just, you're, you're wasting, like, why are you doing that? And I, he was like, I have a, I, my son is immunocompromised. And I just, that just pissed me off that he has a sick son that he's lying about. And uh, also he made me, he made me miss my Grubhub driver. How did it end with the state police? I told the, the trooper, I was like, look, this guy came around. He was being a little, he was being a little f- He made me miss my Grubhub driver. <laughs> and I told him, I didn't say that I was, uh, he's going to get his ass kicked hanging around making people miss their food, but that's probably the way he felt after talking to me. And uh, if you could just tell him to never come around again, that would be perfect. What were the state he's like? He was, he was nice. He was laughing. He thought it was funny. No, no sh- yeah. You do it a bit, he's f- who you are. He pro- <laughs> I, th- I'm sh- I think he probably talked to the, the guy. The guy's like a total worm. Yeah, the state trooper's like, man, what a f-. Probably, yeah. God, I hate this fucking guy. This guy has my... J- <laughs> this guy's got my... No- I mean, for the state police that know. The- yeah, I hate that. Get away from me. The guy did it. They f- did it. <laughs> they snow plowed tents. Wow. I've always wanted to see what that looks like. Where'd they, where'd they do that? Uh, hopefully everywhere. Hopefully that's a picture of just like a plan set forth mm-hmm. by every city and municipality. It'd be awesome. To clobber homelessness. That's how we got to tackle homelessness is literally with the tackle. How do you get rid of a hornet's nest? You coat it with a poisonous substance. <laughs> oh, this, like this. It's such a f- nuisance. Trying to enjoy our meal. Yeah. Gavin's a demon. Oh, you cool. know that, right? <laughs> Why would I go chase him? <laughs> no. Instead of fucking chasing him, just have him watch. Chase him. Yeah, Gavin's a demon. Go get him. I'm good. I'm not a demon. She's got some nice abs. She does. She must have been a competitive athlete at some point. Definitely. A hot little, th- hot For- little homeless girl right there. <laughs> We've got ourselves a great looking homeless girl. <laughs> Nice little uh, V taper. V taper. You got a great V taper on your hot little body. Oh. We'll get you a shower and clean you up with some disinfectants. <laughs> you are almost good enough for the D louser. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'd be saying if I was a uniform dog. <laughs> hey, Chief, we got a D louser over here. Look at this one. She's <laughs> a week old. Look at her. She's still our wits about her. You snapping it in <clears> front <throat> of her face? The orderly from Kill Bill that 
Uma Thurman when she was passed out. Like, you're just, your whole personality is that guy. You're like, ooh, look at what we got here. He's just sticking his fingers in her mouth. <laughs> She's sleeping. She's like ODing. Oh, hell yeah. I'm going to put you in an orange barrel. I got one of my buddies on the Union Construction crew gonna come pick you up. I'm gonna put you in a road barrel until you wake up. I got a whole pile of you. I call you Krispies. This is Nick's method of dealing with the homeless crisis in America. She's hot. Get away from me. <laughs> you're telling homeless guys to get off you because they know what you're doing. You're painting for gold. Remember, there, the hot, there, were, there were hot homeless girls in Venice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember we used to, remember the joke for us used to be we used to always say we were homeless? Yeah. We'd ride our bikes around and say homeless people. Mm -hmm. Like scream at people, like ride our bike, being like, ah, get the fuck off me, you. And then uh, the joke was always, I still have all my week one homeless. Oh, yeah. We used like to you still have your stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we still have <clears throat> all my stuff from college, but I'm actively smoking crack and doing heroin. So you're home, you are homeless. Oh, yeah. And you're on crack. Yes. But you still have all your stuff. I have all my stuff. That's how early you are. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm early. I'm, like, week two, week one. Like, I'm still, like, I'm still selling, like, things for, like, packs of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I have $45 left. You'd have to have, like, a two-foot wall, thick wall of, like, steel up there, but it'd be cool as hell to live in there. I have a, t a gun turret. Look at this motherfucker just pacing with a needle right here. <laughs> that girl that's knotted out with the needle in her. Yeah. Look at this guy. Something you never want to hear is a, yes. homeless, a homeless person telling you, I'm sick. I'm sick. Because Every... that means something completely different than if you or I said, I'm sick. Yeah, I don't have a sniffle. If a homeless guy a came up and said, yeah, there's not a sniffle they're talking about. Someone different. I'm sick. Help me, I'm sick. I see this lady every day. Oh, f*** you. What's she doing? Is she giving up that Is she giving up that Yeah. yeah. Where's she at, though? Oh, that down there by the river. Where's the dangerous part? What's she do? Nothing, it's just this. It's your boyfriend? Your boyfriend? <laughs> He's thinking it's about it? Boyfriend? You should just push him off into the water. I w if I was her, I'd be like, listen, you guys are clearly breaking out. Why don't you go wash that off in the water? And then come over with me. <laughs> then you can come on over here and I'll put some pine soul on you. <laughs> and I'll take you to the D- I'll, t I'll, t I'll call my sergeant, my staff sergeant, and get you on the over to the de-lousing tent. <laughs> Would you mind wearing these veneers while we- <laughs> giving homeless girls veneers so you can, they can look like people. That's f so funny. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's our product. That is bad funny. That's so funny, man. <laughs> Here you go, babe. <laughs> she turns around. She's like, hi. She looks <laughs> homeless chicks looking like decent with veneers. <laughs> hey, Sam. You look, a, you look a million times better. <laughs> got a cockroach crawling across her face <laughs> like this girl with veneers she would like i would believe she worked at a bank looks like we got down to bachelor number one over here bro shoot your shot look what happened she he's gone out of the picture homeboy go for it bro you're a dominican guy sitting in a park that looks like a no, what, where, where are you going? See, look. Oh my goodness. He's going for yeah? it. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> you don't have a boyfriend? Oh. You don't have a boyfriend? You don't have one? Maybe you'll be my boyfriend? <laughs> you'll be my boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> maybe you watch, maybe you watch off of your in the water, and then you put these veneers in. <laughs> 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 you put these disposable veneers in that I got at CBS. Oh my god. <laughs> what are the comments on that one? Beware guys of this hooker. She set up guys at motel, then she steals or calls 911, sending guys direct to jail, claiming rape. Beware, beware. Oh man, imagine that. Oh, that's the, that's, that's the girl we know. Is that the one that calls you daddy? Uh, I think so. Is she tweaking? Yes, that is. That's the one that calls me daddy. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> She's dancing. She's like Corey Feldman. Because <laughs> I got no man. When I got no name, too bad. <laughs> Cause I got no Sam. Is my daddy? French fries. Did you buy that meal? You probably I paid for that. Probably meal. Probably did pay for that. She's probably. Like, Ooh. Oh man, that's crazy. Your pussy's really tight. <laughs> she knows how to ride, and she's actually a good kisser when she comes down. When she comes down, and, and I, I soak her out for a couple of days in the de-lousing tent, and then. 
and then I put her veneers in, and I wash her down. Is that a product? Fake veneers for homeless hookers? No. No, just fake veneers for like homeless people when they have to go look decent in public. Oh man, can you? Would that be a nice thing for them? Like a like a quick fit like CVS version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like you don't even need like boiling water. You just yeah, they just kind of like stretch them a little and pop them in. That's a good product. That's that's that actually that would be crazy. Can you can you imagine seeing that in a store like a Rite Aid? Yes. And like the purpose is explicitly like, like you're homeless, you need a job, you need some teeth. Here you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, here's some teeth. Like you need to, you can't walk in there with that one taffy tooth. That's so crazy. You can't be walking in there with that sugar shack of a tooth. Mm -hmm. You got to be getting some fucking. These are A number one, the nicest teeth you're ever going to see. Spishak Industries. Yeah. <laughs> plastic over veneers for homeless people to look pretty while you suck dick. Mm -hmm. Are you shooting heroin in the park but sick of sucking on your one tooth? Let it die inside this plastic shield. <laughs> <laughs> while, a, while a truck driver smashes your head into his lap and you choke on a rod. And by rod, I mean small half of a hot dog that's, that smells like trucker seat. Onion. And onions. <laughs> But you got the veneers, and you have another pack because they're, they're easy to produce. Man, that's a good product. I'm going to look into crazy this. crazy product. We should at least pitch that on Shark Tank. We should, oh, my God. <laughs> with, like a demo, with a demo? Dun, with a dun, demo. Dun, 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 dun. We send <coughs> two homeless guys in first with no teeth. Like, hey, give me a dollar. Come on. Yeah. And they're like, what the hell? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, and Robert Hirschbuck's like, oh! and then Barbara Corcoran's there, and she's like, you know, I feel bad for people, and then, and then you send in two homeless guys, but you give them like a nice, like a shirt, and you give them the veneers. Same guys, same clothes, but they have the plastic veneers on. Yes. Hello, sharks. My name is Alan Moisel, and this is my partner, Sam Moisel. We're brothers from Brooklyn, and then we just talk about being Hasidic Jews the whole time. We were, we were tired of uh... <clears throat> the Old Testament. <laughs> You're homeless people, right? Mm -hmm. They stink. But what about with a nice shiny smile? Ding. Would and you give him a job? Would you take head from him? Right. Of course you would. Ah oh, ha ha! Mark Cuban's over there. That's mm -hmm. three thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Yes, I would. Oh, that's great. That's great. And what do you make him for? And what do you sell him for? I'm like, wholesale landed is seventy nine cents a pack. They retail for four seventy nine a pack. And our I have all the metrics. My customer acquisition cost is screaming at women in the Kennedy Plaza. <laughs> it's not a number, Mark. At tweakers. I verbally abuse homeless people into the CVS, buy every bus station, and uh, they buy them. I give them money to buy them. Yeah. There, was, there was some guy out today when I was walking, he had an abortion shirt. Mm -hmm. It said, keep abortion legal with a coat hanger. Wow. It, was an, it was an old guy. And he was on a bike, so I went like this, <laughs> into, like, into his lane in front of him. Got to start punishing people in public. Yeah, KKK is such a throwback. It's old school because it's not even real anymore. The, the actual KKK is like sixty percent federal informants that just try to bait the other guys into like doing something crazy. Once a week, the boss at the at the FBI is like, "Are you doxing Greg?" Like, yeah, yeah, he's on our side. You moron. Mm -hmm. They just keep circle each other yeah, 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 it's yeah. so filled with informants and they just they just try to find a guy that's like mentally ill enough yeah. to be like rider truck full of ammonia okay dude imagine being imagine being in the cake and you're like the guy like the jokes on you mm. like you're the guy that falls for the informant stuff yes and you, you're letting him you're, uh -huh. letting, you're letting him work you like amp you up yeah they already brought me in for this this is the third <laughs> time i've been in the club where they brought me in for the, but it would be eventually like there's probably just like sick guys just like we already know about that guy that guy's not doing anything mm -hmm. you're an fbi right and you have these militia guys on your radar like all right this is jesse newsome he's got mm -hmm. we caught him at a bar pulled him over at a routine traffic stop he had an unlicensed rifle in the car he, he said it was he bought it at a flea market he got off the next day blah blah, blah. and then they're just like Let, look into him and they look into him and he's just saying all the words but none of it's true he's just like a liar bouncer that crackhead strippers he's like yeah i killed 30 of them i had politicians begging me on their hands and knees please don't kill me and i was like man get up have some self-respect and i laid a couple of guns out on the table and the fbi guy's like in the van like what the fuck? <laughs> this guy's so full of <laughs> <laughs> like what's fucking guy such a <laughs> <laughs> yeah and like he's just like you can hear him like thinking yeah, it yeah, through yeah. like yeah. then i slapped him i pistol whipped him <laughs> Yeah, the governor. Oh. You pistol with the governor? Yup. And he was begging me, please don't let me go. I said, I ought to feed you to my pigs. Ree, ree. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even have any pigs. No. 
what's with this guy? <laughs> he's got a normal job. Like he just works at a he's like a Best Buy manager, like two <laughs> states over, <clears throat> fifteen counties. Funny how in life things that you hate so much, you never know. You never know. I do that with things where I'm like, ah, oh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I resist. And then when you do it, it's the it's the life changing. Like making coffee in your house is one. Like wiping your ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Finally, you're 36 years old. You stink like. Yeah. And you're like, oh, it's so itchy. I don't want to touch it. That's gay. If I touch my ass, that's gay. But the f***ing itches feels like there's maggots crawling up my <laughs> asshole. <laughs> oh, it hurts so bad for 30 years. Can't it just come out and cut off? Can't I just pull my ass cheeks apart enough for none of the sides of my asshole to touch? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> can, I, can I just crap in a pool? <laughs> Can I just go in the tub every time I need to go? God, can't I just keep wetting paper towels and sticking them down my boxes and hope they wipe the <laughs> down and then kick them out of my leg randomly in places at the office? <laughs> I mean, what the f What am I doing wrong? I mean, I've clearly got my life together. I'm the CEO of GE. <laughs> <laughs> clearly, I'm fine. I think I have, <laughs> I think I have IBS. <laughs> well, make sure you call India every day. <laughs> you should say, hey, hey, it's me, Sam, with the IBS. <laughs> Always order with that lead. <laughs> Start your orders with that. <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on? What is it again? Landnar? Okay, Landnar. Uh, <clears throat> it's me, Sam, with IBS. Um, that's irritable bowel syndrome, not UBS, the uh, the bank, or uh, UPS. Uh, it's IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, Sam. That's me. I might have gotten it from your food. Don't matter. Called yesterday, had it. Gonna have it today. Give me, uh, do you guys have any lamb or goat? Yeah, something with like a mint cream, lamb, goat, spicy mint, mint lamb, cream, goat. And he's like, oh, yes, I had it. Lamb, lamb, uh, kima matar. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spicy? Yeah, yeah, f my sh up, dude. Yeah, f me. You're verbal, you're a verbal power bottom to the uh, Indian guy. <laughs> Come on, come on, lamb, not my butt with your spices. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell the cook to grab a whole handful of turmeric and slam it up my ass. <laughs> Are you done, sir? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> we don't deliver. <laughs> What's Monday motivation? Let's see what that is. You got to show up if you want to get it oh, done. Yeah. If you want to get it done, you got to show up. If you don't show up, it's not getting done. You got to show up if you want to get it done. You... I hate the guy. What is that? Is that oh, um... Mark Rebele. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I can't watch that guy. I think I think that um, to, to have a purpose in life or to have meaning in life, you actually have to have something that's like meaningful or purposeful or whatever. Like you can't just start from zero with nothing and like manufacture a sense of purpose, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get the f out of bed, go. Get up, get up, I think I go. You like this guy. No, I hate this guy. Oh. Phew. I hope he gets pancreatic cancer. Oh, okay. and goes bald. This guy I, hope, is... I hope he goes bald before he dies. <laughs> you're so running can, in the so can make fun of him. You're in the Mark Rebele 5K. I'll go win it. So this is when you're when you ha when you don't have a purpose. You can pause this. When you don't have a purpose, when your life is like very empty, but you know that you have to like manufacture some type of drive, and that's a lot of the reason I, I don't like Jocko Willink. I don't like um, Goggins. David Goggins. Like, David Goggins, his thing is to, like, what, physically punish himself for, for nothing. To just be a good runner and to, like, to be a, a podcaster. This, guys, you got to show up if you want to get it done. I looked at his thing and there was, and like, right away, without looking deeply into it, there was some long post about how the pandemic traumatized me. I spent the entire year indoors. I was totally, like, this is why yeah. he's in his pajamas in a, in a robe doing these songs. And then in the background, he has the raw joints weed thing and he's got a beer on the keyboard so he's just abusing substances being a slob in his pajamas and making videos with these songs with fake motivation hollow i want to hear nothing from you flimsy motivation you'll pay rent i would rather i would rather hear somebody say that i would i would rather like uh, elliot rogers manifesto <laughs> like really like that that to me that that has more purpose than what this guy's doing 
Yeah, I, I got you. Like, if you're so bent out of shape that you have to write 50 pages and go kill a bunch of people, like, that is a terrible thing, but in a way, that's more, I mean, that's much more significant than, yeah, yeah. you gotta get out of bed, bitch, let's go, let's do this, let's, bam, bam, let's smash bam, the bam, day. Bam, 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 da, 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 da. Smash the day. By smash the day, I mean pal around with f any celebrity that will have me. And, and fold then, my clothes. And go on, go on James Corden or some shit like that. And put my clothes in cubes, storage cubes. This guy is everywhere right now. He's like, uh, I don't even give a f He's f like hanging out with like uh, uh, the other guys that, that you know, the, there's like five, like a handful Reggie, of these. Reggie Watts. Reggie Watts, yeah. yeah. It's that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reggie Watts is like hugely. There he is, right there. He's jamming yeah. with Mark. Yeah, Reveling. yeah. They hang out. Reggie Watts is actually like hugely musically talented. Yeah, like he's very talented. And then the substance of the stuff that he makes, it's like eating cockroaches. This musical improvisation, it's the cringiest I've ever. I can't do this. This is terrible. This is like if someone started to beatbox at a party. Mm -hmm. Like I can't take that. That's why I can't live in Los Angeles. Cause like this is like people are like, uh oh, they're gonna do it. I'd literally rather skill saw my dick in half the long way. This is like anybody that has like made music for four months can do that. Yeah, you had to like play this game with loops. Oh, I hate this so much. Like I hate all of it. And it's nothing. Reggie Watts seems like a very nice guy. Cause he's a very positive guy. I don't want to like. I don't want to put the bad juju out there.